The one question I get all the time is, how do you compare an ICF wall to two by six? How does the cost compare? How much more is ICF? And I guess there's a lot of different ways you can approach that question. But for this video, I wanna iterate is, our value is not accurate when comparing these two types of wall assemblies. So let me tell you why. A few months ago, I had Coaches Engineering. They helped me kind of devise up a little letter. And what that letter was about is a, the CLEB tests, or that's what I call it, it's C-L-E-B. It was in CLEB Laboratories in Quebec City. And what they did is they tested uh, a two by six wall with R20 bats versus an R22 ICF wall. And what they did is they had a cold side, then the wall assembly, and then a warm side. So it was minus 35 Fahrenheit to plus 70 Fahrenheit over here. And what they were testing is, is how long does it take for that cold to affect the warm side on the interior? So we'll attach the summary letter here and just you guys can read it over yourself. But in a nutshell, what, what the results were is it only took two hours for that cold temperature to transfer through a two by six wall and affect the interior side enough where it would switch on the thermostat and call for heat. Now with an ICF wall, it actually took 48 hours for it to transfer through the wall and affect the inside enough to turn on the thermostat. And why is that? That's because of thermal mass. Now, most people when they're comparing things, oh, it's just based on our value, and the thermal mass just kind of gets left to the side because either nobody knows how to calculate it or a lot of our energy modeling does, doesn't or can't factor in the thermal mass. So you can't really get the true efficiency rating of an ICF wall. Because if you think about it, it's cold over here. That cold has to A, transfer through insulation, which is a resistor. It just slows down the transfer. Then it has to change the temperature or affect this whole mass, which is tens of thousands of pounds in an ICF wall. And then again, it's got to go through this layer of insulation and then affect the interior. So what that equates to is basically, I think it's 58 or 60% more energy efficient because of the thermal mass. So you can't just look at R value to R value. So what that equates to is most climates, and it doesn't matter if it's a warm or a cold climate, there's fluctuations and, and differences in temperatures throughout the day. Like in Canada, it's cool at the night, hot during a summer day, and then co cold in the evening. So it's cold in the morning, warm, it's, so it's always changing. So the interior actually doesn't really ever get affected because, because it takes 48 hours to change and transfer through, it's just such a more even keel temperature on the in inside, right? So you, your, your wall and your HVAC system isn't constantly changing. At night, your heater isn't kicking on because it's cold outside, and then in the day, your AC isn't kicking on, and that's just the stability of an ICF wall. So when you're comparing, you can never compare a two by six wall to an ICF. Yes, it's nice to compare for, you know, dollar value, but in my mind, and I guess I'll get onto this in another topic as well, but a two by six wall, unless you just leave it as it is, a very cost effective assembly with regular bats and vapor barrier, that's well enough. If you're worried just about bottom dollar and just the the lowest amount of cost, that's great. That wall will work for you. But if you wanna start adding components and adding insulation value or upgrading to spray foam or exterior insulation to a two by six wall, it just doesn't compare. You can't beat what an ICF wall can give you. And that's namely because of the thermal mass that now can actually add that value. So if there's anyone out there that's smarter than me that can actually figure out what this equates to, but it does just such an advantage, and that's why you can't really take R value into consideration when you're comparing ICF to two by six. You can't make a two by six good enough to compare to an ICF wall, or like one architect says all the time, I can't make an ICF wall crappy enough to compare to a two by six wall. So with that, I'll leave it at that for now. I look forward to your comments. Thanks for tuning in.